I mean, I'm delighted that RSC50 is devoting a lot of attention to the new work the company's done, partly because there's an awful lot of it, and I think a surprising amount of it, and also that some of the things are quite, are quite surprising, like, you know, who knows the RSC Premier Educating Rita, for example. So uh, that's exciting, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm very glad to be a part of it, and I think it's absolutely appropriate that I am. Uh, and I'm doing uh, th three things uh, in that uh, we're doing an evening about Nicholas Nickleby where we've assembled a group of people who were in the original production and we're going to, we've got live music so we can play some of Stephen Oliver's wonderful music and we'll be talking about the story of the making of that extraordinary show with the people who are in, you know, who were involved with it including showing some clips from the... Uh, from the Channel 4 version of it. And uh, there's also a weekend called Theatre Protest, which involves Peter Brook and the US, and my play May Days, which was a 1983 play, which I think is quite relevant now in a sort of general way, because it's about people changing their politics in, 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 in middle age, and it's about the collapse of, of, of the Soviet communist dream. It's also, I was opening it the other day to talk about it to the director and finding a a speech which goes what will happen to the people when the, 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 the teat of, of welfare dependency is pulled away. I look into the future, I hear broken glass, I look into the future and I see London burning. So, and that was in fact a prediction of the, of the um, Brixton riots of 1981, but it's suddenly become extremely relevant. So the play has become more relevant even than I thought it was since the uh, uh, since since we, we, we agreed that that would be the original play of mine that would be represented in the season.